Hello there. Today I'm going to step out uh, for my normal uh, study what we have been going through about the father and the son the, the family of Elohim God Almighty. Well, the elections are over. The inauguration of the new president is over. But to God Almighty, things are not over yet. Is a God who sees, is a God of truth. He will come through. And all of you who are sincerely loved truth and those who are loving the truth and supported brother Donald Trump. The time is not over yet. Things are not over yet. God always supports for the truth. He is a God of truth. Yeshua said, I am the truth. His word is the truth. And so, we are going to see what actually uh, the situation right until now. Let's uh, for the beginning read from the book of Hosea. The prophet Hosea chapter 13 verse 9 It is your destruction O Israel that you are against me against your help where now is your king that he may save you from all in all your cities and your judges of whom you requested give me a king and princess verse 11 I gave you a king in my anger and took him away in my wrath. Hosea 13, 11, I gave you a king in my anger and I took him away in my wrath. The people who are of the truth, let it be Anyone in any religion, let it be a Christian, a Protestant, or a Roman Catholic, Anglican, or Methodist, or Evangelicals, or the Charismatics, the truth lovers, those who stand for the truth, they all know in the hearts the sabotage, fraud has taken place and is well beautifully covered up. And uh, as a person belonging to the truth and loving truth, no wonder uh, the former President Donald Trump he kept himself away from the inauguration of the new one and the reason number one I would say because he is not a hypocrite Trump is not 
a hypocrite. He loved by more than 75 million people of the United States who love truth. I'm speaking only for truth and people of the truth. We have received a kingdom from God the Father who is the truth and only one God. And uh, what is ahead? Most of the Christians are unaware whether they are in United States or Canada or they are in uh, Europe, in any other place where they can shout and say hallelujah and God has given them a man who is going to lead the country in truth is, is far from it. It's just the beginning. Things are yet to come. Don't be in a hurry. Things are yet to come. God and not only hears our prayers, He sees a God who sees nothing escapes His eyes. Nothing is hidden that shall not be revealed. Yeshua said, now they're going to be actually danger for Christians as warned by one cardinal, I don't know actually his name, uh, that the Christians should be ready, <coughs> excuse me, for martyrdom. So, problems I had with this new presidency. Um, besides this, since Joe Biden, Joseph Biden is for abortion. Abortion is an English word which uh, sounds okay on the outside of it. But the actual word for the abortion, willful abortion, is murder. And God will not keep silent. Never. Lives are so important. And those innocent lives. And James said it in chapter 5. You kill the innocent. And he doesn't fight with you. So that's one thing. Biden is going to just open the gates for all kinds of uh, reasons or no reasons abortion. And the second thing is he's uh, going to open the door, or already has said it, for same-sex marriage, breaking the ordinance of God Almighty. If in Moses' time, uh, two people, a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, is caught up in illicit sex, abomination, both must be stoned to death. Or well, these things are becoming very casual and normal 
ఏంది వెస్ట్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఇన్ యూరప్ సో ఫర్ అబోషన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఫర్ సైన్ సెక్ మ్యారేజ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి లైక్ వైల్డ్ ఫైర్ విచ్ విల్ ఇన్ ఎవిటబ్లీ బ్రింగ్ ఇన్ ద జడ్జ్మెంట్ of god almighty it will for sure it's not going to be late uh i heard a roman catholic priest speak on this and i was dumbfounded actually for him to speak so boldly about criticizing the sin to go against the laws of God almighty he was so bold enough god bless him and to speak out the truth uh, let's have that because joe biden masquerades as a catholic i'm going to use his name Joe Biden embraces teachings that are absolutely and fundamentally opposed to the priorities of our church to protect life, to protect the sanctity and the holiness of marriage. He is in some respects an embarrassment to Catholicism. he is pro abortion for any reason or for no reason at all there is an amendment that is written to protect your federal tax dollars the money that you give to caesar that protects that money from paying directly for abortion it's called the hyde amendment joe biden actively wants to repeal that amendment You know, we have at least some say in what happens to our money that we give to Caesar, don't we? Not much of a say it seems at times, but we have at least some say in what happens to our money. There was a bill that was proposed that babies that survive the abortion process, there is a living human being in the operating room alive. There was an amendment that said that if a child survives abortion that it must be given medical care. Joe Biden doesn't support that. He opposes the teachings of the Catholic Church. This isn't political. This is moral. This is religion. This is our faith. What is a marriage anyway? A marriage is a union of one man and one woman. We just saw and heard the faithfulness of this Roman Catholic priest. Uh he spoke about the abortion which joe biden is for it and uh, now he is going to speak about the marriage ordinance <coughs> how he is going to break it let's watch he opposes the teachings of the catholic church this isn't political this is moral this is religion this is our faith what is a marriage anyway a marriage is a union of one man and one woman how does a person get married i had a wedding here yesterday right here on the altar and i explained to couples that they're only halfway married when we're done with them at the church they're halfway married they have one more step to go before they're completely married What is the final step in making a marriage? It's called the consummation. Okay. How do you consummate a homosexual marriage? How is that even possible? If you attempted it, it would be called the sin of sodomy, which is one of the 
sins that cries out to God for vengeance, according to the clear teachings of the Catholic Church. I fear that Joe Biden has had bad shepherds, bad teachers. Maybe Cardinal McCarrick was his cardinal or priest. But the reality is he's missed fundamental Catholic teachings along the way and he's not alone. Of teaching the word for 40 years, nearly never seen or heard a Roman Catholic priest so boldly speaking for the truth. Amazing. Amazing. And there are so many people who call themselves evangelicals and charismatics, protestants, full gospel, tongue talking. Now heard one person speaking against absolute murder, killing the children. They're about to be born. Twenty two thousand four hundred abortions a day and for these two treacherous abominable sins the hatred and digs up the anger of Elohim, the Almighty God, America <coughs> will face judgment. I'm not a prophet. Sin calls the justice of God. It was not quiet with the sinful nations in the past were well, during the time of Noah <clears throat> and during the time of Lot, the Sodomites and many think that God is silent. America was known as to a Christian country. Can they call now? Are they known that way? I believe, this is my opinion, Satan was totally mad. And our brother and the former president Donald Trump lifted his Bible up and uh, showed the people what he believes. The plan of getting rid of this man who kept his promises even before he became a president, kept all his promises, and especially with regard to God's people, the chosen people, the Israel, the Jewish people, and making <coughs> Jerusalem the capital. And bringing the embassy to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. This thing is enough for the devil. 
he 24 hours from the very time he was thrust out of heaven is against the god's chosen people the jews and now exactly what he said to the rebellious people his own people at that time who had never kept his commandments and they wanted a king of rejecting him and he said i gave you a king in my anger and i took him off Meg God Almighty the father of Yeshua the Messiah bless all those people who love the truth and they have so many questions in their hearts why 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 lord what happened why they are covered up the truth why the young people the children the fathers and mothers people who love truth god knows about it he's gone not going to keep quiet it'll happen all of a sudden one humble advice for those who love God the Father and the Son of God Yeshua keep your eyes on the word just like David keep your hearts on his word is a god of truth he will bring out every evil every lie that has been covered up it won't be too long god bless you